welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see from the thumbnail, this is kind of like a new in summer bit slash holiday haul slash whatever. I'm basically going on a lot of trips over the next month, pretty much all of May until June. Some are exotic, some are in Europe, but there's basically the sun there. So I've ordered lots of new bits. Some ha things have been gifted, some things I've bought, and it's kind of a mixture of everything, high street, luxury and I just wanted to show you it really because I've got so many amazing bits and then I was showing like a few things on my Insta stories if you don't follow me on Instagram I'm always doing Insta hauls when I get like some new bits in and a few of the bits that I showed you everyone like I got such a huge response and so many requests to do a video I just thought okay why not and it's not going to be a, I'm not sure if I can have time to try all of this on um, not so much the time it's more that I think I just really spat hugely over there. Um, the daylight is about to go any second so I'm trying to like get this all out before like it goes completely black outside. I've also just filmed this makeup look. It's going to be my next video after this so make sure you hit the subscription button um, to make sure that you don't miss any of my next videos and if you like my makeup and want to know everything I've got on it'll be in the next video. So let's get into this video and totally forgot what I was just saying, but let's just get into the video. I shut my eyes, trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming. Okay, so I just showed you the clothes row, and I tend to do that before I go away. Normally when I'm on like a back-to-back, -back, like this is the first press trip after I've had a, a gap. So I'm very organised and well not that organised and I'll tell you why later but then when the, the press trips start to roll on it's literally a case of empty the suitcase, throw new stuff in empty the suitcase, throw new stuff in so at the beginning of the press trips I try to get organised which never normally works so I tend to really rely on the things that I pick so I pick things that go, like items that go with lots of other things so all the things that I'm about to show you they're all quite strategically picked I always have like a capsule collection in my mind that whatever I shove in my suitcase, I can pair that with anything else. So I'll have a top that goes for skirt, and then I can wear the top. You know, you get what I mean? So it's very usable, wearable, and I can use them all over the trips, but wear them completely different. So this round of clothing is literally going to last me the whole of the summer, give or take a few new things that I pick up that I clearly will. Um, some of the things haven't arrived, like my shoe collection is not that strong for this holiday haul, but that's because I ordered the shoes late and they're not going to be here until like, actually I'm going to Monaco in the morning and they're not going to arrive until I get back, but that's fine because I have lots of other trips and have plenty of other shoes that will go. So I'm going to link below all of the things, like the shoes mainly, that I have come in that I haven't got here with me, but at least you can have a look at them and have in mind what I'm going to pair with what. I also ordered a few bits from New Look. I was so blown away when everything came and I know that lots of you liked it as well because you were like, where's the dress one? Oh my God, I got it. And then I can obviously see how many of you have bought it. So I was just as impressed. And then I ordered the same stuff in other colors and then there was a new drop of stuff. So I ordered even more stuff and I'm gonna link all that below and that will be ready in time for the next press trip. So anyway, I think I've spoken too much. The first thing I'm going to talk about is this dress because I have it on. Um, this dress is by Dodo Bar. I think I've said that right, wrong. Um, I had this dress in the maxi last year and the fabric was so heavy. I'm skipping along. I'm going to show you the new version. But for now, I'm going to talk you through the things that I have here. This I bought in mind to be my summer bag. I actually bought this. You've seen this before, but I ordered this like when the weather was still bad and I was wearing it with all black and I loved it. I didn't think I could actually wear it as much because I had it in mind that it was a summer bag. But this is going to be my go-to summer holiday bag. It actually fits way more than I even thought it would and I've had so many people ask me to do a review on this. So I'm just going to give you a quick breakdown of what you can fit inside. So it has the clasp here and so far I have in here my holiday purse, which I do use here as well, but it's always good to have like a smaller purse to take away. Um, I have a Biotary eyeshadow palette, foundation, and a foundation brush. 
and then there's still room for me to have my vlogging camera in there like you can see that there's just so much room in there and the chain is really long and you can wear it halfway or long ways like this so and there's one zip inside so this is the perfect holiday bag it's nude so it literally goes with everything like even something red it goes so nice even something blue it's nudey enough to just go with absolutely everything I don't even need another bag so that will be my main bag that I'm taking um, I'm not a huge sunglasses person because I feel like this part of my mouth face is the ugliest part like I hate the shape I hate my mouth I hate my table so I'm not a huge sunglasses lover but I love these so these are my Chloe sunglasses and they're just really light and really comfortable to wear and they will be the one pair that I'm taking away with me. I bought this just because when I'm tanning, of course with full protection on, I just thought it was really cute to wear like this. So I bought that as well, just to like, you know, like a holiday thing you do not need, these things. I was so excited to show. I'm not going to get these out of the packet because I'm, I'm taking them away with me and they've been packed really well. But it's a, I'm so greedy because I have two. It's a watermelon and a pineapple towel. I'm going to be honest with you. Just think of the Instagram pictures you can do with these. Plus, obviously, it's nice to have a towel and they're quite big, so it's really nice to have like something better than like a sliver on the sand. I was just so excited about those. So I've got those, and obviously I've got one of these. So I have a Flamingo one already that's in the house in the south of France, but I'm going to be taking this with me. Can't wait. So I'm going to Monaco tomorrow with Reward Style, and we're going to um, like around Monte Carlo, and then I come back for a couple of days, go to um, the family south of France house to like, not relax, I'm not going to relax, but then I'm going to be straight going to Cannes, and I'll be there for the film festival with another two brands. So... Lots of exciting things to come. Um, one more bag that I have here. Oh, it worked. So this is a canvas Balenciaga crossbody. This is brand new, never been worn. And I got this from Luxury Promise. Um, I'm not sure how many of you know about Luxury Promise, but it's a online website to buy pre-loved luxury like this bag, they specialise in Hermes and you can also sell with them as well so I'll leave that, the link below for you to check them out and I just thought this was the most perfect, oh my lip line is in there, I haven't even used this. So this is really roomy and I just thought it was the perfect holiday bag and one thing I really want to stress is every time I buy something for holiday I I make sure I can wear it in London as well because I hate buying things that are just are a waste or throwaway fashion. I really hate that. So everything I I buy, I make sure that I can wear it in London. Or if I buy something to go to Bali, I do want to be able to wear it in LA. So I really make the use of what I got. And normally I fall in love so much with my stuff, I keep it until next summer. So now let's go through the round. So here's everything, I just wanted to get everything um, on the rail here so that you could see like the colour tones that I like. Normally, this is pretty much my colour palette. So I love denim, I love lace, I'm always going to wear black and white and if I wear any colour it will be baby blue and I love red as well. So that is pretty much what I have here um, with, with a flamingo thrown in here or there. Um, the first dress I already showed you was this one and as much as I love it, it's got pockets and I really love that it's like a dropped waist hem, it's really comfortable, it would be really good for the evening and I have it with these shoes which I mean how amazing are these, they're like faux fur um, like sliders, they're so comfy but I found like another way of wearing it so I used this belt and I just wrapped it around where the middle hemline should be because this is a dropped hem and I basically just fiddled around with it until it was much higher and it was like a totally different look and I really, I really love things that you can wear different ways so you could wear this with flats, heels, boots, you can wear it with the belt round 
This also comes in red and it's the exact same red as this actually. Comes in this red and this is the maxi version. Again, this is Dodo, do 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 do. I'll write it here and I'll leave the link. And they're both from Beach Cafe. And then what I was going to explain to you before is last year, I'll leave the link to my blog post where I shot it. It looked amazing. And I, I do love the dress, but I didn't, and I did think when it arrived, oh gosh, that's really heavy for a summer dress. But then I just thought it's really good quality. And I didn't realize until I saw the new one. It's got like a really nice crossbody as well. They've really improved this. So the fabric is the same look, but it's a completely different fabric. It's a lot lighter. They have like these metal um, eyelets here with the pom-poms. I just feel that it's so much more well-made and improved from last season. And the fabric is really light. So this time it's not ultra heavy. And I just think these are perfect holiday pieces. These would look good with sliders. I would literally wear these with like my Givenchy sliders that I love and will die in. Um, but then you could also wear it with red Gucci loafers, which is what I have, or you could wear it with heels, or you could wear it with a pair of black boots and a leather jacket. So this is all what I think of when I get it. So I could wear this like a hippie on the beach with no shoes on, or I can wear it with some black boots and a leather jacket in London. So that's that one. One of my favourite pieces that I got is this. Uh, actually, I was going to pick something else because I have quite a few faves. This is what I put on my Instagram stories. I had like my hair all like this. I looked a complete state. I had to share it with you. So I've ordered this in black and I've ordered every single piece of swimwear from this website because it is so flattering. I think they're like £15, £19 and they're so flattering like I know high cut this one says vacay 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 high cut swimwear is flattering if it fits you right and I'm all about cut fabric and fit and that's why I tend to go to luxury more than the high street but I have no qualms actually I prefer to spend a quarter of the money on the high street but I don't like to compromise on fit or fabric this is one of the best swimsuits I've ever put on. I love it that it's baby blue, but more to the point, the cut is perfection. And then layering this dress over the top just for like a poolside look with the faux sliders that I have on, I just think it's lovely. And I, I've been so busy, I've been slacking at the gym and all this, and this for me, if you're a bit body conscious like I am at the moment, to me, this is... This is a bit more covered up, like this is, like, you, could, you can wear this with covering yourself up slightly and I feel more comfortable in a swimsuit at the moment. Don't ask, I don't want to get into it. I'm going to be hill running when I get to France. Burn that body fat off. Right, these I love. So, I put these on my Insta story as well. These I'm definitely going to try on and show you. So they are just lace skirts with high scalloped hem at the front to show off your shoes. When I was looking for a wedding dress, this was something I really wanted. And I promise you I'm sharing all my wedding. I have a video, I have photos, I have photos of dresses I tried on. I have hilarious stories to share with you with my wedding and my wedding dress. It's coming, I swear. Um, but I'll show you a wedding dress that I nearly bought that was like this. So when I saw this skirt, I had to have it. And the nude one I absolutely love, and there was just, I couldn't choose, so I got both. I just wish they did it in black. So I hope, hopefully, whoever's watching, can you please design this in black? Um, this looks great. I'll show you one with a pair of boots. Um, you can wear this with a leather jacket, a t shirt, and black boots, and wear it in London, or you can wear it like I would wear, like in a sunny, exotic place, I would probably wear this and this. But you can mix and match a skirt and top with everything. I love a good dress, but I always go for a skirt and top if I can because then you can mix and match it. Um, and then the skirt, I got this to go with it. And believe it or not, it looks totally fabulous together. And it looks good with black boots and a leather jacket. It looks good with sandals. You can wear this so many different ways. You can wear this with a grey t-shirt. There's so many different ways to wear them and I, I can't tell you how much I'm happier with that. Um, again, when it comes to high street fit, if you'd have bought this luxury, yes, it would have been over a thousand, no doubt in my mind, but the lace that they've used is really nice lace. 
every detail has made it perfect. The only um, the only thing I didn't like about this was the underskirt is too long and unflattering, which will suit anyone that's taller than me. If you're shorter than me or my height, I'm five foot six. It's not a good flattering, but you know, for the price, I'm more than happy to chop this off and sew it on. I have a sewing machine, but if you don't, you can easily tack it like with a needle and thread, or you can get those iron strips. So just bear that in mind. If you think it doesn't fit you right, just think about customising it yourself or take it to a tailor. That will cost you like eight pounds. So really happy with them. Um, this I really, really love. This again is High Street. This was just a nice blouse. Because I'm going to Monaco, it will be really, really sunny, but there might be some days where it's not super hot and I can wear something like this, or I can definitely wear this in the evening. But I live in London, so obviously for London summer, I was bearing that in mind, and this is perfect for them. I love the sleeves. I originally thought this would look really great with a painted skirt. I think that's how they show it on the website as well. But on my Insta story, I put it with this. And I was demonstrating, I was not joking, but it has these zips at the side and you can keep it like that or you can have it halfway up and be like medium slutness, which is where, where I am in life, I think. Or you can have it all the way to like here or even all the way to the top and you can give mega slut vibes and you can also do both sides which is mega, mega, mega slut vibes. And if you want to do that, you go ahead and do that. I would have been up here 10 years ago, like, why not? Oh, everyone's gonna judge me now and think that I'm a raging whore, but there's nothing wrong with showing a bit of leg, wearing it with something like this, as long as you are respectable and don't, and don't put yourself out there. There's nothing wrong in showing some thigh, okay? If you, if you disagree with that, this channel's not for you. But I don't wear stuff like that now, but only because I'm older. But I, I did and I would. Um, then, then I ordered this and then I saw this one and I was like, holy, what the raging holy, I need that in my life. And then I suddenly remembered, I texted my friend Helen, we, um, we've known each other half my life, she was one of my bridesmaids, she designed this skirt. She works at River Island and she's the denim designer. I'm so proud of her. I was like, Helen, you smashed this skirt. This is amazing. And she's like, all blase about it. Like, yeah, that's been doing really well. I'm like, yeah, I put myself in a frenzy trying to order it. So I really hope that these are left because it's so flattering. I mean, look at that. This is the type of thing that I do myself. I'll buy a denim skirt. I've done it before. And I mean, they've done it a lot better than like my rush job. But you literally can just put a bit of lace on the bottom. But... The fit and the cut of this is perfection. Um, and then I also got these, because I love a pair of denim shorts. I'm a size 10 in denim shorts, and I got these in a 12, because I love them baggy around my bum, baggy around my waist. If I'm putting on a pair of shorts to go to the pool or the beach, I do not want them sucked in up here. Anyone that does that, you look great. I just can't do that, it's too uncomfortable. But these have stars on. I had to get them, they're so nice, and I really love both colours of denim wash and I'll just shove one pair of shorts in I'll probably shove a black pair in as well um, and they're like my go-to thing and I end up putting them on every single day but they're like they're such a good pair of shorts next thing I have what should I show you oh just a random tee I'll, I'll put a black white and a grey tee everywhere I go and then one fancy one just so that just because I do um, jackets, I'll show you jackets. I normally take like one like this, especially if I'm going somewhere like Monaco or Cannes, because you can wear a jacket in the evening and it's good to have a jacket wherever you go. And then I'll travel with a leather jacket on. I normally always do. Long haul, no, but like an hour to France. Yeah, fine, no problem. If you follow my Instagram, I am Chiquette, you'll see my travel outfit. It's probably already on my Instagram now, because, no, not right now, but I'm going stop confusing everyone so every time I travel I'll put up a picture on my Instagram of my travel outfit which people seem to really like because sometimes you need a bit of inspo to know what to wear on the aeroplane so I normally take two jackets am I going too fast well no one's here to answer me it's a camera and a tripod um, I take a nice pair of pajamas just because if there's like a nice balcony and I want to do a balcony picture obviously I need a pair of nice pajamas uh, these come with just like a pair of shorts 
Doll's House Fashion. I love Doll's House Fashion. You would have seen me wear these. I practically for my honeymoon I wore Doll's House Fashion because it was my honeymoon. I really wanted to make the effort. It was the one holiday where I really wanted to make the effort all the time, which is very hard when you're in the Maldives because you turn into like a walking tortoise, like you just feel you're at one with the sea. So, but I still managed to do it. So I'm gonna take one of these with me just in case I need like a um, an evening look with trousers and I, I don't know I just need options and I don't know what the weather's going to be like and it's super light it's um, skinny trousers with pearls and a jacket it looks really good together but also separately and maybe I won't take both depending on how much room I've got both jackets but this also comes in black and Doll's House Fashion Fit is really really good I've normally always got like one or two of their pieces on a holiday if you're going on a girls' holiday, like Vegas, Marbella, Ibiza, Mexico, wherever you go, I really recommend checking out Doll's House Fashion for like unique kind of outfits. I've got two dresses because both the trips that I'm going on, I love going out in Cannes and Monaco. It's literally, it's my second favourite place in the world, south of France, and it's the one place where I really get dressed up in the evening because everybody else does and I just love it and both trips I'll be going out a lot so I bought I ordered two dresses no it's the long way around two dresses that um, I also wanted them to be quite classic and I got these both I can't get my words out they're both self-portrait this dress here I thought that it was black when I ordered it and it came it's navy which I am over the moon about I love it that it's navy navy is so flattering on every skin tone brunette blonde auburn whatever skin tone I love navy and I bought one like quite shorter shorter I'm really struggling with my words um, it's really it's because I want to watch Britain's Got Talent it's on in five minutes and I'm so desperate to watch it yeah, so these two dresses, absolutely love them. You've got to have at least one killer dress because you just never know. A few tops. This is another high street one. Um, I would wear like a um, uh, triangle bra, like a nude one or a grey one. I picked up a couple of those in Zara the other day. Um, Gillen. I didn't, I didn't buy this because Gillum's a trend. I bought the red one from Zara, which would have seen in my Japan blog. I literally bought it the day before I flew and it was like a raging trend skirt and it's apparently been branded the most popular or most popular Zara skirt in the history. And I'm so happy that you noticed that I was like trendsetter of that. Like not literally the trendsetter, but I did wear it before all the hoo-ha went and then I saw this one and it was pretty much the same I actually prefer that this doesn't have the buttons um, and I loved the other one so much that I just thought I'd get this one in black and this one's cheaper than the Zara one as well I think the shape's slightly nicer as well on this one I didn't order this because it was gingham I liked it because it was off the shoulder and I like the way that the off the shoulder is because this way is a lot more comfortable than when it's straight across like a dress I'm going to show you. So I just thought this was a nice summery top. This will look really nice with the denim skirt, the, um, the denim shorts and I can wear that plenty of other ways. How many other things do I have to show you? A couple of red dresses. I think a red dress is really nice just to show whatever colour you love. Say you love pink or you love electric blue it's nice to pick up a dress these need these steaming um just to shove on with a pair of flats and nice and easy to wear um little summer top so i basically it's quite simple really i literally have two or well, like nine pairs of denim shorts i'll have a couple of um like nice tops like this and the white lacy one, this one. I'll have a couple of day dresses like the two red ones I showed you. I'll have two killer dresses like these, what the self portrait ones I showed you. And then I'll have a couple of poolside looks, which is something uber comfortable like this or a baggy pair of shorts. And then these would be the kind of thing I would wear in the evening or the day. These you can wear anytime. Another dress that I have here in off the shoulder nude lacy. Just really loves that. I love nude lace. Um, a couple of belts, a couple of bags. 
shoes. Oh, I've got this here as well because this is my bag that I'm going to be travelling in. Because I'm going to Monaco, if you've, if you've not been before, it's just such a snazzy, sassy place. Best people watching in the world and it's the perfect place to take my Kelly. Um, I can use it in the day, I can use it in the evening, I will definitely wear this in the evening and I need to fit all my camera equipment because I'll be vlogging it, I'll be taking pictures so I needed a bag that was nice enough to put all my camera equipment um, Would you like to see a video on my on my, on my camera equipment? Because if you do, I'd be happy to show you The vlogging camera that I have, have I got time to talk about my vlogging camera? Probably not, no The vlogging camera that I have, okay let me quickly show you Okay, maybe I won't because I can't find it. How did that vanish like that? Okay, now I'm on a mission to find it. Okay, so my vlogging camera that I take everywhere with me, this is like haul slash camera equipment. This is, it's a camera that shoots in 4K, wide lens, and the best thing for me that I like about it is, well, the screen flips up, but, um, when I, I don't really take that many pictures on it because I'm always filming and then you can pause it and save that as an image and then you can like edit it in the touch screen and post focus so that would mean if you had a picture of like a palm tree and everything in the background you can bring the palm tree like forward and blur the back so it's such a fantastic camera like I obviously use it for vlogging I'm a blogger but anyone to have a camera that they just want to take on holiday to film and take pictures this is incredible um, kind of went off topic then. Um, oh, I've got another sundress here. This is just a nice little black thin, kind of bell sleeved, nice for the pool if you're going to like a market. So as you can see, I've got so many options. I just saw a swimsuit there. So this was a bit, um, a bit, a bit more neon than I uh, anticipated. But then I thought once I get like to the Caribbean or wherever the hell I am, I'll be all vibing the the colour. So. I kept it, but the main reason why I liked it is the panelling of the lace is on point. It was so flattering when I put it on, I literally couldn't believe it. It's got a backless back and it was just so flattering, I had to keep it. And with a tan and being like the holiday mood of colour, I just thought I'd keep that. I think we're done. I think I'm done. I mean, I showed you a lot. So um, hopefully I've showed you a few of the pieces. Um, I'm all over the place because I like know Britain's Got Talent is on like seven minutes. So basically, I'll tell you what the best thing will be to do. I'll try and try on as many things as I can before Britain's Got Talent. But if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll see me wearing all of these in all of the trips. Because for me, it's just the best way. I show you what I've got in a haul like this. I'll show you at home in the mirror, like it's not very realistic, and, but I think when I wear it on the vlogs, you can actually see it in the setting and see exactly how I've styled it. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the Monaco and the Cannes Film Festival vlog because I'll be wearing all of this stuff in all of them. And don't forget that this makeup look will be in my next video, which will be on Wednesday. And if you subscribe, then you'll get notification. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, what you call it, video, and if, because I'm quite, I am still quite new to doing this, every video that I'm doing is kind of, is kind of like a first, so yeah, let me know your thoughts below, and I'm dragging, so yeah, I hope you liked it, and leave me a comment below if you want to know anything else about any of the other stuff, and if there's anything in particular that you really loved, when I see that someone really loves something, or there's a lot of you saying, oh I really love that, I really love that, I'll normally shoot that for my blog. So if all of you love this outfit with this skirt, I'll shoot it and show you two different ways. So yeah, that's it, I hope you liked it, and bye. I was packing away and I forgot about this dress. How could I forget to show you this? So I love tea dresses and not only is this a tea dress and a cheesy Hawaiian print, but it's a got flamingos on it. It's got flamingos on it. 
So I saw this, I normally go into Zara all the time, but I've been so busy I hadn't. And you know what I'm like, I'm always on the hunt for anything with you. I, my eyes are just tuned in to whenever I see a unicorn. So I would have seen this for sure. But in one day, I saw like 12 people wearing it and I was frantically like, where did you get this dress from? And everybody, literally everybody replied to me saying where it was from. So I was literally like that running emoji, like the Zara to get it. I was like in a frenzy saying to the woman, like you can never tell who, who is who that works in Zara. And they're like the worst place to be like, do you have this? And they're like, I don't know. And you're like, well, I don't know either because I don't work here. Or it's like three floors. Can you just tell me where it is so I haven't got to walk around? Then this one lady said, oh yeah, I know where it is, but I'm literally standing there waiting for like, you're going to tell me where that place is then? So I went and found it on my own. And then I literally, I'm not, I was so pathetic. I was trying to find one that had the flamingos in the right place because like there was one small and you could, there was no flamingo on show. Like one on the bum, that's not what I want. It was more like a parrot dress. So I went for a medium in this just because the flamingo was positioned better, but also it was a little bit longer than the small. So, and then I got the swimsuit to go with it. But I tried it on and to be honest, it wasn't that flattering. I mean, it even look. I mean, whose body is that short? I don't know why I bought it because it's not flattering. It's really wide and short. I've got huge boobs, and this is for someone who's got smaller boobs. Like compared to the blue vacation one. Oh, I also got a black one that says good vibes, but I've seemed to have misplaced that. Um, yeah, I just got it because it had flamingos on it. Yeah, that that's it basically. Just wanted to show you that. I have to tell you, the dedication I've put into this video, this t-shirt, oh my god, I'm retching. Let me see if I can show you. Where is it? Oh my god, honestly, it stinks of piss. There it is. There it is. Can you see it? Oh god, I've got to get it off. Oh god. So basically, if you put anything on the floor, Bambi will pee all over it. Oh my god, so I just thought I've got to put it on because I have to show you this outfit. So you better love this outfit because it's covered in Bambi's dog pee. It stinks, it's all over my body. Oh, vom, I need to get it off, but I, I wanted to show the outfit, so I hope you appreciate that. <laughs> 